hello again. And this time we are in mid Wales. We've travelled down from uh, Lancashire into the glorious Welsh countryside. We're just south of Snowdonia and uh, today we're shooting fast jet aircraft in what is technically termed LFA-7, um, more commonly known as the Mac Loop. And uh, hopefully we're going to show you or talk to you about how to take pictures like this. Uh, this is a picture of a uh, uh, an F-15 Eagle American aircraft that flew through here today and uh, we're going to show you some of the pictures in a little while and how to take these photographs. First of all, where are we? So we're, we're just, um, sorry, keep turning around, keep, keep looking out for aircraft because they can come at literally any time. We'll talk about that in a few moments. But uh, we're just north of Corris. Corris is, is that way and uh, Bala is just over in the next valley. So we're, we're kind of in the, in the sort of bottom of the Welsh valleys. Um, we'll put a map up here and it shows you exactly where we are. When you come down here, there's two places where, um, which are commonly known for, uh, for shooting aircraft. Those are Cad West, which is that hill there. Um, and uh, you can see, maybe see a few people just sort of dotted on that hill. And Cad East, which is, which is where we are. Now, we are on the edge of a, of a very steep valley and an aircraft literally fly through beneath your feet um, through this valley. So which point, if I take 20 steps that way, they will be the last 20 steps that I make because it is literally vertical straight down there. And it's a long way and the chances of recovery are probably zero. So uh, that'd be the end of me. I'm sure many of you would like to see that, but not, not today and not on this video. So um, to, to photograph here, um, you need to climb some hills. There is a car park down in the bottom and uh, and there's a trail up to, to Cad West and this side to Cad East. There is a sneaky route up the back. If you get here early enough, you can sneak up there. And there's a link to a video that shows you exactly where that, um, where that uh, route is. But you've got to get here early for that because that little car park, which can take about four or five cars, will be full by 7.30 in the morning. So you've got to be smart to get here. Coming through here, we get all sorts of, of fast jets aircraft. So you have F-15s, we get Hawk, we get Tornado and Typhoon. We also get slow aircraft like um, that Hercules might come through once, or one, once in a while. And, and to photograph them, you're gonna need a camera. Now, you do not need a super duper mega expensive camera like, like this. You can shoot a picture with an iPhone and, and you're gonna get a reasonable result. But what I'm using today is I'm using my trusty Nikon D850. I've got a, a Sigma 150 to 600 lens on the front, and typically that's going to be running around about 400 mil, because although these aircraft are uh, are quite large, they, they are in the valley, they're a fair distance away. You really need a little bit of zoom to, to bring them in, but also they're moving really, really fast. They're probably going about 400, 450 miles an hour through that valley. So shooting them is, is going to be tight. Time-wise, from the moment you see them come over the ridge, um, and they'll come around this corner over here, um, or they'll come through the valley from Bala and they'll go, go right through here. From the moment you see them or hear them, you've probably got about 10 seconds until they're absolutely gone. So the camera settings, you need to be shooting. To get a nice sharp image, you probably want to be shooting, shooting upwards of a thousandth of a second. Um, if you're a little bit more experienced, a little more experienced with panning aircraft or panning generally, and you want a little bit of blue in the background, but you want the aircraft nice and sharp, then you may, you may want to drop that down to uh, 600 of a second, 500 of a second, maybe even a bit lower. Um, but first off, I'd start upwards of a thousand. Not 1,600 of a second is, is probably a good place to start with these aircraft. And when you come here, it, we're very fortunate. It's a glorious day. There's been quite a few aircraft sort of whizzing around here, um, but you're going to spend a lot of time waiting and hanging around. So you need to be up here bright and early in the morning. Um, you know, I've, you've got your camera gear. Obviously, you need to bring that. You need to bring some food. Uh, you need to bring something to sit on. So we've got some little, uh, little deck chairs that we've carted up here. As, and the, the more stuff you bring, the more stuff you've got to carry up that hill. And, it, and it's a challenge. So you need to bring everything to be completely self-sufficient. And also, you need to be remember that take your rubbish away with you. Don't leave rubbish up here. Um, you know, Leave it as you found it, nice and tidy. There will be other people around. There are, there are some kind of professional Mac loop photographers that you, you'll meet up here. Um, I mean, today there's four or five other photographers kicking around. Um, one guy um, has been coming for 10 years and uh, he will tell you everything about 
the Mac Loop and all you need to know about shooting it. The, the, the key thing as well is listen to these people. They'll, they'll tell you all the knowledge. They'll, they're happy to tell you all their camera settings. And you'll be sat around, you might be sat around for two hours doing absolutely nothing. And then with about four seconds notice, there'll be an aircraft coming and you've got to get up, you've got to get your camera and you've got to be shooting. Now you will get no notice of an aircraft coming. So your friend for the day will be your camera. This camera does not leave your hands if you want to shoot an aircraft because as soon as you put it down, as soon as you walk off and leave it somewhere, you can guarantee an aircraft will come through. We've tried about four times to make this video today and every time we've tried it, an aircraft has appeared and, and wrecked us. So um, yeah, it's, it's not great. Now you notice I've got a small video uh, camera on the top of here. That's a little Sony um, A5000, A6000. And uh, I've just been using that to photograph some video um, so you can see what, what happens. So let's see what happens. As I say, you get a couple of seconds notice of an aircraft coming through and, and through it comes. And this is, this is the experience of, of the Mac Loop. So here's an aircraft coming through the Mac Loop now. Got him. Oh, he's low. As you can see, that, that's relatively quick and you don't get much time. Um, and you know, you, you sit around for two hours, three hours, an hour, who knows? And, uh, and then you'll have 10 seconds of, uh, of camera action. And hopefully in that time, you'll get a great shot. Um, here's, here's a couple of other aircraft coming through the loop this morning. It's quite high this time. Going down. As you can see, you know, you don't get long. They are, they are, they are running close, they are running fast. It is a challenge to photograph them, but it's a great challenge. Um, so come on down to the Mac Loop, take some photos. I guarantee you'll get some great pictures, even if you're using an iPhone um, or your camera phone, because you, know, you will get pictures wh whatever's happening. Um, these are the pictures that, uh, that we've took today, just to give you some idea of some of the, the photographs you'll be able to take. And that's it. And that's, um, that's, that's basically how to shoot the Mac Loop. There's lots of people here that know a lot more about it than I do. So if you come along, talk to these people. If you've enjoyed this video, use the subscribe button just down there. Give us, give us a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment below. We'd, we'd love to engage with you. And uh, until next time, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.